What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Eggin' with Colway. My name's Caleb. We're out here in Apple Creek, Ohio. We got the egg firing up and making meatloaf today. All right, we've got all our ingredients here for the meatloaf. We've got our ground beef, we've got some white onion, some red onion, Dijon mustard, parsley. Today we're using the Bearded Butcher products. We've got the Hollywood rub, it's gonna go in it. And we're gonna finish it with some of that Rebel Red for the glaze. Today's episode sponsored by Fred's Farms out of Charm, Ohio. Head over to their site, fredsfarms.store. Use the code Colway for 10% off all their meat. They specialize in grass-fed organic beef. Check them out, they're fantastic. All right, we got our ingredients out here. I got my half uh, white onion chopped up, half a red onion, a couple tablespoons of this chopped parsley. I got three eggs already in the pan that I cracked. So we'll go ahead and just add these ingredients in here and get all of those put in. I've got three pounds of this organic grass-fed beef from Fred's Farms. We're gonna put that in there. And the fun thing about this recipe is you get to get messy. So we're gonna do three quarters cup of these uh, panko breadcrumbs. I'm just gonna eyeball it. Uh, we'll get pretty close to three quarters cup, but it doesn't have to be exact. Uh, I want a little bit of this Dijon mustard, about a tablespoon of it. And we're just gonna put all of our ingredients right into this foil pan and then get crazy. So we're gonna dig in. Get it all mixed up. When you're done, you wanna shape it obviously into a loaf, but for now, we're just trying to work all those good ingredients all together. Want it as even as possible so that the eggs are distributed all the way throughout, the panko's distributed throughout, and all of our veggies are in there and just nice and distributed throughout. Like I said, it's gonna make a mess, which is great. If you got kids at home, put some gloves on them, tell them to have at it. They'll love doing this. We'll be back in just a second. We got most of our ingredients in there now. The last thing is our seasoning. We're gonna do the Bearded Butcher Hollywood Rub while your meat's in the pan there. Liberally sprinkle a bunch of this stuff Really, you can't go wrong with this seasoning. It's nice and balanced, sweet and savory. We'll put that right on top, but then we're gonna work that into the meat as well, just like we were doing. So, good amount of that rub on there. And then just work that back through the meat. Get all that flavor in there. This is gonna be fantastic. The last step in this process, just gonna go ahead and take this and kind of mold it into a loaf like it's a big loaf of bread. Just a nice oval shape, kind of like a football. And I know it's a pretty good sized loaf. This is gonna feed a bunch of people. These are perfect for dinners. You can prep this ahead, come home from work, fire up the egg, hour later, you've got perfect meatloaf. So go ahead and get this going. And we're gonna check on our egg. The egg is up to about 360 degrees, which is just fine. I dialed it back just a little bit. When we put that meat on, it's gonna stabilize right around 350, which is exactly where we want it. See, we got our convector in with our convector basket. It makes it easy to move it in and out. We'll go ahead and get our loaf. We'll put it right on the egg. Make sure it keeps its shape. Well, that's perfect. We'll come back in about 45 minutes, get an internal temp on that. After about an hour, we're gonna glaze it with that Rebel Red from Bearded Butchers. You loaf has been on for about 45 minutes. We're gonna go ahead, get a quick temperature check on it. As you see, it's getting a nice color on it. You see those onions that are on the surface starting to caramelize. We're at about 150 degrees internal. So I'm gonna go ahead and put our glaze on it. We're using that Rebel Red Mango Habanero by Bearded Butcher. They sell that here at Colway. I'm gonna go ahead and just get a little bit on that to glaze it. Most of the time, people use ketchup. You can use any other kind of barbecue sauce. I like a little sweet and heat with it, so that's why we're using that mango habanero from Bearded Butcher. We'll go ahead and just paint that on there. And we'll let it go for probably another 10 minutes or so to set that glaze. We'll get it pulled off, let it rest, get it sliced up. All right, so our meatloaf has had that glaze on it. I hit it with a little bit more of that Hollywood Bearded Butcher seasoning. It's ready to go, it's been sitting. So let's go ahead and get this pulled off, transfer to our foil pan. We'll let that rest for about 10 minutes. We'll get it sliced up. Meatloaf has been resting. We're gonna go ahead and get some slices going. 
So we want to cut them about quarter inch thick or so. Some nice slices. As you can see it is juicy, tender, starting to fall apart a little bit. It's okay. It's going to be just good. All right, meatloaf is cut. Let's get one of these slices. And then of course, we gotta try it. Get some of this glaze. Wow, really smoky. You can tell it's good quality beef. Little kick from the uh, mango habanero seasoning. Absolutely perfect. This was a fun one. All right, guys, that's a wrap for today. Meatloaf is gone. These guys loved it. Had a nice little kick to it. Everybody enjoyed it. Uh, just want to remind everybody that today's episode is sponsored by Fred's Farms. Head over to fredsfarms.store. Use that code Colway for 10% off your order. Uh, just a reminder, we used Bearded Butcher products today. Hollywood Blend, Rebel Red Sauce on the meatloaf. Available here at Colway. Check them out online colway.com have all the information for you or come see them down in charm or apple creek we'll catch you at the next one